Hey guys, today we are back at Disney Springs. And today, we don't really know what's going to happen, what we're going to do. We have dinner reservations at House of Blues tonight, so we're going to go there and do that for sure. We're going to try the salt and straw ice cream place as well. We're definitely going to do that. And maybe, if time permits, we'll head over to Epcot. Maybe. That's just a maybe. So we're going to walk around Disney Springs, have some fun. The today is a sad day. It's the Benton's last day here in town. So we're gonna hang out with them again. Just have a good time. So come on, join us. Well, the uh, fountain is usually a lot higher than this. Just a little spurt today. Usually, you know, like I said, it's a lot taller. It's pretty funny though. I wonder if they're just trying to cut back on their water bill. We have about an hour before dinner, so we are going to step into Disney style and see what they've got in here. Look at this vacation mode sign. And right next to it is the Dole Whip Swirl. Man, I would love to have that right now. Look at this, they actually have a Joy button up from inside out, that's pretty cool. Price on this is $59.99, that's pretty cool. Take a look at this Best Day Ever shirt for $36.99, that's pretty cool. And this Cinderella slipper shirt, so this is love, also $36.99, that's pretty cool. Take a look at this bag here, it's like an old lunch box. This is pretty cool, this is $79.99 though. A little high. They have this section with a bunch of different assortments of shirts here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that looks really, really, it looks like a kid's small. Oh, that looks huge. I'm talking about the bottom looks kind of short. So you think that would be pretty big on you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little big on you. This is pretty awesome. They have right here in the middle of the store. Picture of Cinderella Castle with like no one around it. it must have been taken like early in the morning <laughs> when guests were still not allowed to be in. But it's awesome. Oh, look at this Tomorrowland long sleeve. That's pretty cool. Right above it, they have a People Mover shirt. That's awesome. And he's showing me this one that glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. Take a look at this Mickey Pretzel Lounge Fly. This is really cool. And the price on that one is... 85. 85. It's pretty cool though. It's awesome. And they have this like Pretzel Mickey display right up here. So you actually can do this balloon here. You go up into the sky. We're not going to do it today, but it is $25 per person to do it. And it's always permitting on weather, so whatever the weather's like um, determines whether you'll go up in the balloon or not. I don't think they go much higher than this. Maybe a little bit more. But it's really cool because you can actually see this from far away here on Disney property. We always see it in the background somewhere. So it's going up a little bit more. And I think that's about it right there. It's a little higher. But it's cool, isn't it? See like all the people standing up there. Balloon's huge. <laughs> it's cool though. Really cool. 
and Disney Springs has different kind of food trucks that are out here. Right now they have the cantina and uh, let me see which other ones they've got. Local Green Orlando, which is like a plant-based one. They have all these different ones and I think they do change them out from time to time, but you can just get food here from a truck. And here's the salt and straw ice cream shop. We'll be trying this out a little bit later. But right now, let's head to the M&M store. All right, we are here at the M&M store. We are about to go in and check out what they've got in here. Oh man, it smells amazing in here. Hmm. All right, let's see what they got in here. We've been in here before, but it's been a while. So they have all the different color M&Ms and shirts here. All the way to blue, orange down there. And they're running a special right now. Mix and match mugs, two for 22. It's pretty cool. Here's the main two here. That's awesome though, I thought that was pretty cool. Now here on this back wall, they have all kinds of different M&Ms that you can choose from. All the different colors here. They go all the way up. All kinds of them. Okay, you see they have fudge brownie, English toffee, the minis. Key lime pie, mint, it's pretty cool. So you can design your own M&Ms and get whatever you want to on them. This is kind of an older thing, but let's go, let's see what we can put on here. Let's just put our information in. So you tap to design. So you can do text and Something we can do. Okay, you can only do this so much on that one and the next one. So let's say that on there, of course. Uh, and then you can choose whatever you want to. So you can delete this. Yes. And you can actually upload pictures you used to be able to. So let's do this one. You can do that on there and then you can design another M&M you can do as many as you want um, they did allow photos but I don't know if they're allowing that anymore uh, and then you choose packaging here's the different ones you can get you can get this like for $23 large bulk bag for $29.98 so it is a little more expensive to get it but you have to remember you're putting your design on there so it's pretty cool and this is where you would pick up those designs right here. So it's pretty cool. All right, so we're about to go into House of Blues. Let's take a look at the menu here. Appetizers, they have the barbecue nachos, voodoo shrimp, crispy wings, Carolina mess, gumbo, and jalapeno cornbread. Oh, this sounds good. And they have salads. For all you rabbits out there, I'm just joking, just kidding. Then they have mains here, shrimp and grits, jambalaya, black and salmon, New York strip, barbecue classics. Oh. <laughs> now that price is different than it was on the app. On the app it was 22, it says 25 here. Then they have burgers, they have the House of Blues burger, Blue Smash burger, Juicy Lucy, <laughs> Barbecue, bacon, smash burger, impossible burger, shrimp po' boy, the yard bird, and then some kids menu stuff here, then desserts. Sounds good. Let's head on inside and check this restaurant out. All right, now we're seated here at House of Blues. Uh, we got in like 10 minutes early, which was nice. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I'm looking at the barbecue nachos. I showed you guys the menu that's outside, um, but uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. House of Blue Smash Burger sounds really good too, so I don't know yet. All right, here's a look at the restaurant. 
pretty cool theme in here. They have like all kinds of like um, different paintings and stuff like that. It's not really like the hard rock. It's different. It's pretty cool though. Once again, we have Hanging with the Bentons with us today. <laughs> we made it on like five or six videos, so. And the sweet tea is awesome. It is true sweet tea. Very good sweet tea. So I decided to go with the. I'm gonna switch this around. I decided to go with the barbecue nachos. He said it was for four people. I'm not convinced, but we'll see. And I got a side of mashed potatoes. I know that's really weird. Angie, what did you get? She got the brisket. She's gonna let me try a piece, right? Yeah. All right, here are the nachos. They are huge. He was right when it was for four people. That is awesome. And I got pulled pork with it too. It's awesome. And then we got potatoes. fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and coleslaw. Yeah. Gabe got some macaroni and cheese and fries. And Denise being the healthiest out of all of this? The southern salad. Southern salad. Awesome. And Angie got the brisket with mashed potatoes and jalapeno cornbread. Looks good. I don't know where to even start with these nachos. Things are massive. You always gotta try out a chip first. They are house-made chips, by the way. I'm supposed to get baked beans. Wow. They're definitely barbecue um, nachos. It's really good though, really good. And I did get a side of mashed potatoes. Mm. Those are good. It's like a garlicky uh, taste to it. It's, it's really good. And then Angie gave me some of her jalapeno cornbread. Let's try this. Pretty good. I like that. It's really good. Brisket. Okay, so I haven't gotten to the pulled pork yet, but Angie wanted me to try some of her brisket with sauce on it. That's good. Juicy. It's a Memphis barbecue sauce, too. Maybe it's their original. That's really good. All right, we're about to head into the salt and straw. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. All right, we made it to the salt and straw. We're gonna try out this ice cream. We're gonna get a sample of it for. Thank you. Awesome, we got to try a bunch of different flavors here. Uh, we're gonna go with the mint chocolate chip and the cookie dough. Pretty awesome. Oh, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Oh, those are both great. I have to do that next time. All right. What's your name? Again? Uh, thank you. Um, okay, so we had an amazing experience our first time. We got the uh, cookie dough here. And then Kyle inside. Yeah, go ahead. And mint chocolate chip on and the bottom. And mint chocolate chip on the bottom. I forgot about that. <laughs> then Kyle hooked us up with the sherbet. Gave us both flavors on the house. Yeah. I was like, how are we going to prove this? And we just went up to the cashier. I just told him. And she said, well, we said, Kyle said this was on the house. Gave it to us for free. So we're going to try these real quick and see what they taste like. Angie, go ahead. Do your thing. Good? Awesome. You want to try the mint? Uh, yeah, let me try it. Oh, man. It's super sweet, though. Yeah. Uh, try some of those. Yeah. Okay, so this is like the lavender sherbet. 
Not a huge fan of that one. And then this one is the coconut sherbet. That one's better. That one's better. But the um, mint chocolate chip is way too sweet. At least for me. But it was good. So now we're going to go hop on the monorail and have a good time. So come on. We got some live music out here tonight. It's awesome. Alright, so we are leaving Disney Springs now. And we are heading over to Epcot to ride the monorail. Gabe wants to ride the monorail. So we're going to do that and make the connection to Magic Kingdom, go around the resorts. Then Angie and I are going to catch Spaceship Earth well, the Spaceship Earth show after that. So we're going to head out right now. Okay, we have made it to Epcot. going to ride the monorail for Gabe to try. Then we're going to come back and check out the show on the globe. Let's do it. All right, waiting on the monorail. Angie is excited, as always. It's going to be Gabe's first time on the monorail. He's excited. And Dave is excited, too. So we're going to take the loop to Magic Kingdom and come right back. This won't take us long. Any second now. It's going to be coming down here. There it is. See it? Way off in the distance. Here it comes. This way. This way. Yeah. Here we go. Gabe, what did you think? Fun? He's watching YouTube. He's like, I'm done. The Bentons are leaving. They are going back to Tennessee. Guys, make sure you subscribe to their channel and follow all their adventures. They'll be back in December. And we'll do some more vlogs together then. It's good seeing y'all. <laughs> Next time they're going to do Disney. For real. But it's good seeing you guys. And we're just gonna let y'all walk away and I'm gonna play some Sad. dramatic music as you walk away. <laughs> All right, we have made it into Epcot. We're gonna watch the show on here tonight. I don't know what else we're gonna do. We don't have a lot of time before the park closes. But hey, this has been an adventure today. So I think Spaceship Earth is a walk-on. I say do it. What do you say? Oh, oh man, I cannot wait for this show tonight. It's a walk on. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah. I'm a gentleman. I'm going to give you guys the full experience of the ride today. Yeah, I know. Bye. shift and turn to the best part. It just doesn't do it justice. In preparation for your return to Earth, your time machine is now rotating backward. Please remain seated. Attention. You are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. All right, going into the loading area, it is important to remember that there is a moving walkway as you enter and exit the ride. So you may want to be careful on that, but you can't talk to the team members and they can slow that down for you. So you can come out here and they have all these different games and activities that you can do out here, which is really cool. So now we're gonna go through the exit and we're gonna watch the show on Spaceship Earth. All right, the show is starting. Let's get over here. He says it's now up here on the left. Doing this to the colors of the wind from Pocahontas. So we're gonna check this out.
right, guys, that is going to do it for us today. We want to thank you guys for watching. I know this may be a long form video with a lot of stuff in it, but we had a blast today. Had a great time. It is so sad for us to see the Bentons leaving. I'm so glad that we got to come here tonight and see the show right here on Spaceship Earth with the amazing music here in Epcot. So it was just awesome, an awesome experience, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. Here's Spaceship Earth for you.